Get ready to firm up those abs. We're gonna be working with Pilates type exercises to really focus on the abdominals, the entire abdominal area and the waistline too. Lift up and down the powerhouse and round the back. Hug a tree real big and press it out. Feel as though you're hollowing out through the tummy like a boat and then press. Good, and pull forward, tummy in, belly button in, and press it out. Beautiful, now it's time to work on those abs. Sit up nice and tall, think about good posture, and take it down one vertebrae at a time. Control, we'll be working with the legs and the arms to stabilize the abs. Bring your head and shoulders up, and let's go. And press, and press. Belly button is in, that's it. You're stabilizing the abs right here. The legs can move very freely because your abs have control, complete control. It's the core of your body, the abs. Press, and press. Chest is up. Remember, elongate the legs. The lower they go, the better it is for you. Challenge those abs. Great, belly button in, neutral spine, you got it. Last one. And and hold and release, beautiful. Bring your legs up and tuck into the chest. Head and shoulders lift off the floor, that's it. Reach out and tuck in. Reach out and tuck in, that's it. Inhale and exhale and inhale. Get your head and shoulders off the floor, inhale. Exhale, the lower the legs, the harder the workout. We got two more, elongate the spine, tuck in, belly button in, last set. Belly button in, it's pushing into the floor, not too hard, and release, beautiful. Straighten out your legs and let's begin. Head and shoulders lift up off the floor, you're stabilizing those abs internally inside, and switch and switch, and switch. Good, elongate the spine, great. Chest is up, switch. Now breathe like this. It's called percussion breathing. Switch those legs, tone and tighten up the abs. It's very, very graceful, that's it. Two more, last one, and release. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Beautiful, elongate the legs. Elongate the arms. Okay, now slowly bring your hands behind you to support your neck and shoulders. And we're gonna slowly go down to the point of control and then slowly pull it back up. Good, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So you work just the abs. All of the muscles are focused in the abdominals right here. All this, this is excellent way to do it, good. That's it, just go to the point of control. Lift, two, beautiful. Now make sure when you're doing this, you're really anchoring down, you're really feeling the abdominals. This is a great way to firm up the lower part of the abdominals, below the belly button, the lower end of the rectus abdominis. Only go to a point of control and then pull it back up, almost like a cable. It's down and it's pulled back up. That's it, great. We only have one more. Last one, use it. Okay, and just relax. And just relax. Take your leg into your chest, just one of them, and just hold it there, yes. Try to rotate through the hips, that's it. The hips are anchored and your waistline's twisting. Now go to the other side, just twist. Really trying to get the shoulder towards this knee, anchoring the hips down. Okay, ready and go, twist and twist, that's it. Reaching your elbow way outside of your knee, way out there, good, and breathe, beautiful. Are your tummies in? Is your back straight? Good, exhale, exhale, press the small of the back against the floor, that's it. The lower the legs, the harder the workout. If you can't keep your lower back down, you're more than welcome to bring your legs up at an angle. We've got two more, last one. Okay, and take a break. Elongate the legs, elongate the arms. Make yourself long and lean, stretch it all out. Now we're gonna really work on the abdominals, the sides as well as the front of your tummy. Okay, bend one knee and bring the leg up. We're just gonna reach it up 
and down. That's it. Bring one leg up, hold it up there, and down. Great. Think about using your abdominals. That's it. Good. Now can you do both? Lift up, and now down. And jackknife up, and down. And only go to a point to touch your kneecaps together. That's it. Good. It's all the focus here is your abdominals, your tones, your tight. This is one of the best ways to work below the belly button. I know. This is where all of us need the extra help. Last one. Hold it up there, hold it up there, and release. Switch legs. Great. The other leg comes up, and ready, lift up, and down. The first couple, just keep your leg there if you can. It's a little easier if you find that too hard to do. Good. You can do it. Now, let's add the leg. Take it down and lift it back up right to here. Feel the motion. Good. And right back up to there. Good. Tense and tighten up the abs so you really feel it. This is the best exercise. Now, if you want to do a little more, go ahead and hold your arm like this. This is a little harder because of the longer lever, it's harder to do. That's an excellent one. Last one, take it up, hold it, hold it, hold it, and take it down, beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna do what's called a rope climb. This is my favorite one, it really works those abs. Let's take it first at the top, think about good postures, your back straight, good, and reach it straight up, reach up, come on, climb to the top, climb to the top, you're a winner. You're gonna have that great rotation. This is why I do it, because you wanna work the waistline. Pull and pull and pull. Twist, twist. I want to see you twisting. Rotate the waist. It's all in the obliques. Good. Tummy in. Scoop it in. Hips stay flat. Hips stays down. Last two. Last one. Oh, okay, take a break. Elongate the body. Beautiful, everybody. You did it. Okay. Now slowly relax and roll over to your tummies. We're gonna do swimming to work the back muscles, your erector spinae muscles, so important for overall good health. You always wanna work the opposing muscle groups. Ready, we lift up and we swim, little tight swims. Notice you're firming all the back muscles. This is it, press your tummy tight, squeeze the buttock muscles, tighten up that tummy. Now we're working on the opposing muscle groups, the back. All these muscles that line the spine to keep you healthy. Okay, take a break. Oh, take a break. Oh, it works all back here. Try it one more time. Ready, lift up. Neck is down. Look at the floor. See how nice and long and lean her neck is. You want to lengthen the neck. That's it. Hold it up. Hold that up. Good. Two more. Last one. Take a breather. Take a break. Okay, that's an excellent one. Now, up in plank position. Stand up nice and tall on your tippy toes in plank. And what we're gonna do is lift the leg up, squeeze, and release. The opposite one, up, squeeze, and release. It's like zipping up the abs. You are targeting these abs so much that nothing droops or sags. The focus here are your abdominals. Good, keep alternating the legs. Squeeze the buttocks. This is the best tightened way to firm up those abs. This works that transverse abdominals, that hard to hit one around the belly button. Last one, and release. Woo, that's a real hard one. Go down to your knees and relax. Now, hold the elbow out. We're gonna work on the sides of the waistline. Okay, clasp your elbow out to the side. And now lift up. Hold, twist, and reach down. Reach through, open up the back. That's it, again, lift up and down. Reach through, reach through. This is so good for the back. One more time, lift up, good, and back down. This is great for the waistline so you go in. Okay, switch sides. Lift your elbow back, good, lift up, and twist. Really feel the tummy, don't let trooper sag in there. Again, lift up. Rotate, rotate, and go under. Last one, lift up, rotate. Beautiful, it's an excellent one. And relax, and let's do a cat stretch. Tuck under, just warm down the back, and release. 
flat back, oh, reach up. One more time, tuck under, suck in the gut. Come on, pull it in and release it. Beautiful. And let's sit up nice and tall, remembering to always think about abs in, or your belly button's in, that's it. Good, lift up and exhale out. And let's stretch those obliques, feel and elongate the spine. That's it, stretch, and to the other side. Feel and lift. Oh, I love this stretch. And take a nice deep breath, inhale, and exhale. You did great.